Hey, what's going on guys? Tonight's video, we are going to be working on this Panasonic Plasma 50-inch TV. And of course, when we fire it up there, we see this large green bar over here on the right side. Some of you guys might be experiencing black bars. That's going to be a separate... Uh, uh, malfunction of the TV. What it happens is that there's some ribbon connections on the top or bottom uh, when you open up the back of the TV. Um, I might talk a little bit about that, but I'll be concentrating on colored lines, vertical colored lines. From After doing some research, it looks like it is the logic board, which is located pretty much in the center of the back of the TV. Um, it might be under a uh, main board. It might be a little bit uh, a little one underneath the main board but anyway we'll get into that when we pull off the back of the TV here but I'm just showing you exactly what it is here now as we get up close you can actually see through it a little bit so when you play a movie you can actually see through it but the only problem though is that you don't want to be watching a movie with this big green bar right there a vertical green bar some of you guys might be experiencing purple bars uh, blue bars they might be uh, smaller they might be larger and what it is, it's probably a bad solder connection on your logic board, uh, which is uh, the one that is responsible for kind of the uh, the picture or whatnot. Anyway, so without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and pull off the back of the TV, and that will explain for itself. Uh, let's go ahead and walk around here. And if I haven't already mentioned, this is a 50-inch plasma TV, and the model number is TC. P50X5 and this is a 2012 March 2012 TV so this is very new so let me go ahead and back up here and show you exactly how to take off this back here okay the first thing we want to do guys is we want to turn the power off and disconnect the plug we don't want to short circuit ourselves or anything like that so if you have any plugs you know I got a HDMI a cable in here and the power plug so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the TV and we're gonna turn off the TV and then we're gonna go ahead and unplug it so that there's no power being established to the TV so we don't short circuit ourselves and let's go ahead and pull out that HDMI cable as well now as we look at the back of this TV here I don't know off the top of my head how many there are, but there are quite a few. We're going to start in the right hand corner up here, and we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, down the side, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, let's see here, and then I can't really see at the bottom, but there should be a couple on the bottom there, and then all the way up the side here and there's going to be screws all the way up and down right there as well and then of course we have to take off these two here and here and disconnect the mount here and here get all those screws out any screws you see that are holding on this back cover and then it should just pull off maybe go down or up but we'll get to that after I give you exact screw count here but I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, uh, taking off these screws here and putting this uh, back cover out of the way all right guys we got the back panel off here and let's go over here and check out how many screws we had here and what I like to do is I like to put them in the direction where they I took them off from so this is the top row here 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 oh I'm sorry there's one more over there 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 small ones around the edges and then there's also they're hooked onto the back over here on the uh, the back cover and then of course your um, wall mounts here those are right here one two three four and then your power plug screws two right there as well so that is very easy to get off right there just pulls right off after those are done and then I'm sorry also your bolts down here for the stand if you have a stand one two three four right there all right so now we're looking at this bad boy right here looks beautiful this again is a 2012 model so if you have an older one it's going to be a lot more components in there they've really dialed in these things in the last couple years with the technology now uh, my guess from what i understand if you do have horizontal lines again horizontal lines um, check these connections over here check these ribbon cables to make sure that they're legit 
connected in properly. If your TV has maybe been dropped, there might be a loose connection somewhere down here. So this board right here is replaceable. If your ribbons are ripped or scratched or anything like that, which causes that, unfortunately that is a panel matter. So you want to check those ribbons. Again, this little board here is replaceable. Those ribbons are attached to the actual screen. And if that is the problem, then you might as well just throw it away because a new screen is very expensive. You might as well just buy a new one. Um, all these boards down here are also replaceable. All right, guys, good news. I fixed the problem, and let me show you exactly what happened to my TV, and it will probably be the same for yours. Again, you notice that vertical, again, vertical green bar. Now, it was on, if I'm looking at the TV, this is the back side, of course, it was the second to the right. So we got one, two, these are ribbons down here, right, where this black thing is. These are little connectors, just like over here. One, two, three, and four over here on the back left side, connected with the ribbon over here. One, um, two, three, and four here on the right side. Well, anyway, if you're looking at the TV, the bar, the green bar was right here. Well, I experimented before I started filming just to make sure I know exactly what I'm doing. And anyway, how I got to that portion right there, I had to unscrew this screw, this screw here, but I had to set it down so this just slips, the stand slips right off, lay it flat on a towel area, like right here, let me get a little, there we go, uh, lay it down on a flat towel area so you don't damage the glass. Um, again, first do that, pull it off the stand, set it down, then unscrew one, two, come over here to this one, one, two, three down here. These just slip right off. These are the stands here. Again, put it on the ground first. And then once all these screws are out of this thing here, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, I want to say like maybe eight screws are connected to this piece down here. This just comes right off. Real simple, guys. Again, lay it flat down. Then you're going to be able to see the ribbons right here. They disconnect the same exact way. They just kind of go from top to bottom. They just kind of prong straight up. So they go from here down like this. Now, right as I was going to take this one apart, right where the green vertical bar was, this one just came out just like that. It was just simple. The other ones were nice and tight in there. This one just flopped right out. That was my problem, guys. Now, again, I ordered parts. I got a really killer deal. I'll leave some links in the description box. So I didn't want to put it all back together and it not working, so I just exchanged it with the new board. There's my old one right over here right over there there's my old one and I just put in my new one reconnected my ribbons laid it down put it back together guys the TV works we'll get to that in a second um, but again just fantastic I'm gonna be making about three or four other videos explaining exactly what to do and what not to do because in the fix of this green vertical bar I blew this board right here now there's great deals out there I'll leave again I'll leave links in the description box but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make other videos, guys, so watch those. What not to do to blow these boards, and I'll just give you a little tip here. Um, <laughs> unplug it and um, get yourself grounded to the TV so that you don't touch anything and psh, you get that shock. That's what happened. I got a shock because my power supply was still plugged in. You need to unplug it before you start playing around with ribbons. Anyway, watch those other videos, guys. Now let's get to what we all came here for to make sure that it is working and that green vertical bar is gone. So again, guys, I found this TV, had the green vertical bar, pretty much just a loose ribbon down here, but I replaced just this board and it worked just beautifully. So let's get to that. Alrighty, here we go, guys. Here, we're watching the uh, movie The Pianist right now. Look at that, no green bar, just absolutely gorgeous. I took the bezel off uh, in the, uh, the uh, fix the tip there, but here's my little uh, board I exchanged. That one's still good. I can resell those parts. Um, so look at this. Now we're on the back side of the uh, TV here. And again, check all your connections there. Um, I did have to exchange that one because I blew it again. But that was my problem right there, guys. Right there. That little ribbon connection. And again, you have to remove the speakers when you're removing that. So guys, I'm super excited. Look at this TV. It is absolutely stunningly gorgeous now. Perfectly fixed. I got this thing for free. Now I just have to put the back back on, screw all my bolts in. 
put the bezel back on and we're good to go guys here's the bezel right here but again this is all for free minus a little bit of money and parts <music> 